Hey guys, as I'm sure you know, we had the Google I.O. yesterday and I wanted to take you through some of the bigger changes and announcements that we saw. Now, I'm going to be focusing on mainly the UI design changes and the new features that we saw, but they did some great things with Chromecast, Android TV and Android Wear, but I wanted to keep this video relatively short and focused, so yeah, let's do it. Now firstly they did give us a preview of Android L as they're currently calling it and the upcoming screenshots and video clips are all from that version. They didn't mention the full name or release number so we're still in the dark on that one, hell maybe they don't even know yet. But yeah, one of the biggest changes was a new design philosophy called Material Design, and in my opinion, it's the biggest facelift since Ice Cream Sandwich. It's more colourful, multi-layered, it even has an elevation property for every surface on your screen. That means everyday UI elements take on three-dimensional qualities being rendered in the correct order with real-time shadows. It also has new and prettier animations, including seamless transitions between apps, and even small details like animating a rewind button are included. Now that may seem minor, but it really adds to the polish and smoothness in the OS. I'm sure you've also noticed the new software keys. Not sure if I'm completely sold on these in all honesty. You have a triangle, circle and square button reminiscent of a PlayStation controller for the back home and recents key. And also with this new design philosophy, UI elements are able to take in color from artwork and photos to add visual flair and consistency, as you can see here from the status bar changing color. Again, it's these little things that just make an OS seem more professional and complete. Now this new design isn't just for Android, the new look will be seen across Chrome OS and pretty much everything else Google has its hand in. So here you can see how they're modifying some of the stock apps like Gmail to fit this new material design philosophy. They make subtle changes, for example modifying the spacing, adding some colour, and it really makes a big difference. It looks fresher, it looks cleaner, and just a little bit less clunky, and I've got to say I'm really liking it. And you can also see how this design philosophy can be expanded to larger screens. We got a very quick look at the redesigned keyboard and also a new look for the quick settings. You'll notice brightness control at the top and a notification at the bottom, so it seems as though the notification shade and quick settings are all in one now. One of my personal favourites is the new addition of lock screen notifications. I for one am so happy they implemented this. Again, notice the effects and transitions that are in place here, adding to the overall polish and fluidity of the OS. They can be expanded or swiped up to unlock the device. The heads up notification system also makes an official appearance here, remember it was in the AOSP code since Android 4.4. The positioning and overall design look better as well, no mention if that could be turned off though so we'll have to wait and see. The recents have been redesigned and reworked, it looks a lot more like Google Chrome tabs but it allows more instances of what you've been doing, i.e. Chrome tabs will be placed in recents. It sounds interesting but there could be an issue in having a lot of tabs open so we'll have to see how it handles that when it gets released. And yep, the default runtime is now Art or Android Runtime. I don't think Delvic will be included at all. They made a lot of graphs showing how Art was faster, more efficient in garbage collection, and what all that adds up to for the average user is less pauses in apps, so less lag, faster load times, and it could also possibly help out with battery too. They mentioned Art is fully 64-bit compatible, as is the entire Android L platform, so we now just need hardware to take advantage of that. So we had Project Butter before for smoothness and fluidity. We now have Project Volta, and this is a proper initiative to help with battery consumption and saving power. Yup, the crowd goes wild. It should dramatically decrease the consumption of one of the biggest battery killers on any mobile device, which as we all know is the radio. They included a battery historian to accurately see what's happening. It's more efficient with its wake clocks and running times. You can see from the before and after graphs here, the after graph shows a lot less wake clocks, which should dramatically help with battery consumption. They included a new battery saving mode to help eke out that last bit of power when you really need it. It decreases CPU speeds as well as the screen refresh rate and of course limits the data usage. So there you go guys, that was a very quick overview of some of the design changes and added features that were shown in the Google I.O. Of course I didn't cover every aspect as I mentioned at the beginning of the video that did some excellent things with Android TV, Android Wear and the Chromecast, which by the way is getting support to fully mirror your Android device too, I can't wait for that, but this should give you a good idea of what's coming. Now Google did also announced that developer builds will be released today as a factory image for the Nexus 5 and 7. Be aware that it is a developer build so it's unfinished and you will see bugs but if I can you can bet I'll be giving this a shot. So I was really impressed with what Google showed yesterday. I really like the new design philosophy. I love the new app animations and transitions and of course the lock screen notifications. Some parts I'm still on the fence on, for example the soft key design and how the new recents will work, but Android L looks to be one of the biggest updates to Android to date. So yeah, as always guys, let me know what you think of this. Peace out.